We want to go back to this story now that we were talking about before the break. I think we have Brian Glenn back again, uh, talking about that deadly house fire in mm -hmm. Arlington from a year ago. That family getting a lot of help this morning. Yeah, and a year ago, a toddler lost a two-year-old who would have celebrated her third birthday this last month. She did not make it out. Family members say they could not reach little Lily Condren, whose picture you see right here. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of people have been rallying around this family. You know, they've had a heartache in addition to losing their young daughter. Of course, they were forced out of their home and, you know, just really having a hard time over the past year. But mm -hmm. this morning, a brand new beginning, huh, Brian? It is a brand new beginning. Good morning, everybody. Back in 1976, Joe and Cindy Condren built their first house here in Arlington. It was their only house. They raised two daughters and grandchildren. But as you spoke of, about a, just over a year ago, they suffered a fire that tragically took the life of one of their grandchildren. But perhaps through all of this has come a little bit of hope as the community has rallied together, not only to support the family and their loss, but also to get their life and their house back together. Joe and Cindy, thanks for joining me this morning. Now, I know, what does this mean to you to have the community support to kind of get everything back to normal? It's overwhelming. Yeah, I, I compared it uh, several months ago to prior to all of this community support, being a blind man who is thirsty, wandering around in the desert. We didn't know what to do. We did not know where to turn to. And then through our faith, the community involvement and support has been overwhelming. And on a daily basis, we're left speechless. There you go, Cindy. I'm sure you feel oh. the same. Oh, definitely. People that we didn't know that didn't know us, plus our friends, our neighbors, have really pitched in and, and gotten their hands and faces dirty with the demo work. And it's been amazing. Let's talk about that real quick. Scott joining me. Uh, now, they were nominated for a free roof, a no roof left behind by the community. Now, let's take a look at it. When you look at the house from the outside, guys, I pull it up and it doesn't look like a whole lot of damage, but let's walk this way if we could, Scott. The damage is fr from the structure is actually underneath the fire. They were nominated. Right. Uh, they need this roof. That is correct. They need the roof because, as you can see, that it has to be demoed from the underneath side. We've got to take all of the, the rafters that are burnt and all of the decking and the one by 4 lath out. And the only way to do that is to remove the roof first, get to the structure, let that be repaired, and then replace the roof. Okay, let's make our way back to the front yard here. Starting at about 10 o'clock this morning, really the whole neighborhood has come together for this family as long as, as well as Lon uh, Smith Rooping uh, has come together as well. So at 10 o'clock, uh, the community will come out here to help get uh, this fine family's life uh, back to order. Thank you for joining me this morning. Reporting live from Arlington, Brian Glenn, back to you guys in the studio. Wow, what a story. Any measure of help for that family, of course, is uh, very much appreciated, I'm sure. Thanks, Brian.